try and punch into them. Nicely done. Lovely shot. This will open up. Once he's taken this red, it will open up a few more as well. In fact, the pink spot's available now, so if he plays on the black, that's okay. That would open up the pink. This is why he's had so many centuries. He's so good at developing the balls and obviously potting them as well. 28. Had to qualify with everyone else, though, to go to, to uh, Sheffield. Or Gloucester, actually, it was, to uh, to qualify. And only just came through 5-4 over Adita Mater. What a blow that would have been if, <laughs> if the local boy very much didn't qualify. Well, there's been occasions where... That's a great shot. There's been occasions, though, where the local boys, the matches have been held over, haven't they? I'm surprised that they might not have thought about that, actually. 35. They all came in at the first round. <coughs> That's a nice little cannon. There were nine Chinese qualifiers plus Marco Fu from Hong Kong, so certainly plenty of local representations. Guaranteed to be one winning on one of the other tables because uh, Li Hang is playing Yagu Dong. Li leads 1 0 there. Chow Yu Peng won earlier on today. Lu Hai Shun, of course, up against Ali Carter. Movement. The thing is, though, none of them have really yet threatened to do what Ding's done, and that's win major titles. Liang Wenbo was in a final a few years ago, but Ding is still out on his own, really, in terms of the standard that he produces. Yeah, I was very impressed with the young man we saw the other day, Zhu Yu Long, that played uh, Jimmy Robertson. He only lost 5 4 there. He's only 15 years of age, David, as well. Mm. I, I'm just going to keep an eye on him in the next couple of years because I think if he comes onto the professional scene, he might be one to watch. It was a good cue action, good temperament. You how is he 15? Is he 16 yet? 15, yeah. yeah. Incredible. <laughs> yes, Lou Heishen. When he qualified, became the youngest professional ever to win a match because previously there had been a, an age limit of 16, but it was taken away. And because uh, he's the world under 21 champion, he was given a place and uh, he's playing Ali Carter right now. He's 2 0 down. It's gone wrong. He might still have a red to the yellow pocket what here. Well, if he hasn't, this is a thin cut on this right hand red. Well, he's checking these two reds now as a plant. He'll be a little bit annoyed with himself because it wasn't a difficult cannon into those four reds. In the left hand, one of the three into the yellow pocket. In fact, he got too much of it because he hit the side cushion. So it was available, and what a chance that was! He's given Joe chance here to get right back in this second frame and there's not a difficult ball on the table here we saw the red he knocked in in the last frame and the clearance that he made this is a definite chance to make it 2-0 yes and that really would hurt because Ding was starting to cue nicely there it looked like it could be a big break on but uh, he's back in his seat Eight. Well, again, it was obvious that the red was potable, David, because mm. he hit the cushion about a foot from the pocket. Nine. 
Well, he did it in frame one. And he's got a chance to do it again here. And although it is 5-0 uh, to Ding on the head-to-head, -head, they haven't actually played each other for five years, so it's not like they're all last season. It, they're not that fresh in the memory. Lots it's happened since the last time they played. Well, you can come around this body off two cushions, top and side cushions. Oh, just drop it in, actually. Perfect. What a chance this is. 29. Ding had the initial chance. Messed up the positional side. Has he gone a little bit straight on this pink? He wants some angle to get around the back of this final red. I think he's okay. A little bit of, yeah, that's perfect. Thirty-six. Just got his nose in front now, in this second frame. Well, he's overscrewed that slightly. Just left this uh, now a little awkward. It's going to be a more difficult yellow than in t intended. Yeah, he can pull the white back, leave it roughly where it is now. But as you say, David, it'd be slightly further away than he would have liked. It's fairly straight on the yellow. Well, the pot isn't the problem. It's it's the striking of the cue ball here to get back onto the green. These have to be hit sweetly. They might be playing a half stun shot off the back cushion. 44. Well, came off two cushions. He needs green, brown and blue here for a 2-0 lead against the home favourite. 47. Made a great clearance in the last. And he's looking like doing the same again here. It's not a total disaster for Ding Zhongwei, but this will hurt slightly because uh, it doesn't really matter that he's straight on the blue unit. That's all he needs. He should have won the first frame. Ding should have won the second frame. But he's about to go 2 0 behind. Well, he was already playing well, of course, having won at the weekend. He made a good clearance in the first frame. So it was virtually nailed on, really, you would feel, to make one here. But he had to pop them, and he has done. Joe Perry is in a golden run of form, and that's a great pink. And this is a great clearance again. Excellent. Really excellent, that was. He's going to take some stopping here today. Joe Perry leads Ding Junhui here in Wushi by two frames to nil.